everyone, my name is Ashley Sutherland and I am joining the FUMC Flower Mound staff as the new Associate Pastor and Youth Director and I wanted to take my first opportunity to meet you all to introduce you to uh, my little family. So this is my husband David and Hello. our two cats, Bean. And this is Theodore. Um, we are currently filming outside. Theodore hates being outside and Bean loves it. So I'm gonna let David go take Theodore back in. Uh, now that he has been social and has formally met you all. Um, we are so excited to join this community of faith. I know that it is something that I have been looking forward to. Um, I'm sad that this journey begins uh, in the midst of a pandemic and through screens. Um, but a little bit about me and Davidson. So we both are from the great state of Texas and we met each other while in seminary at Princeton Theological Seminary in New Jersey and could not be more excited to have the opportunity to be back um, in a place that we both call home. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before you keep moving on, um, I am. I would like to say I'm super excited for Ashley to be at Flower Mound, um, and have you know a clergy couple is not something that's easy, and so I'm really excited to uh, share my uh, spouse and partner with you, um, and know that just from the small interaction she's already had that. Uh, she's gonna be well taken care of and a part of a family. So I'm super excited for that and that's very uh, You know heartwarming to me as you know, I've pastored and done things and so I I've seen the church life But as far as I know so far y'all seem pretty great So I know I'm excited to be a part of and to kind of watch from a distance and kind of let Ashley You know do do her thing. So there you go yeah, I am, like David said, also very excited to be a part of this community. Um, I have only heard good things, so keep doing what you're doing, I guess. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this staff and this church. I'm excited to get to know um, all of you in time and especially to get to know all of the students in the student ministry and to join this journey with them and figure out where is God at work in the world around us. Um, I fully believe that um, the youth and the young people are the prophets among us and so I'm excited um, to work with them. Um, I know that also today the question is where is Christ healing you and something that David and I are very passionate about um, we both worked at the farminary at Princeton which is essentially just like a really big garden um, which sounds silly that the seminary owns a really big garden but as you read through scripture you encounter the land and soil and stories um, all over it and so something the very first project that we started when we moved back is that we have we're starting a garden via uh, potted plants goods um, we don't actually have a garden yet but something that we're learning is patience um, we planted all of our things at the same time on the same day um, some of them have not sprouted yet some have sprouted a little bit some have sprouted a lot um, but I think that in the garden is where I learn a lot about healing, um, especially because of the story of life and death and resurrection. Um, and when it comes to seeds, they cannot burst forth in life until they have, or they're buried and they die. And then they bring forth new life and then we wait because it takes a while to get the fruit from it. Um, and to see what exactly is going to produce, what seeds are gonna take. And so in that process of waiting and working also comes healing. Um, and healing looks different for everybody and it looks different um, for, I don't know, all things. Um, and so for me, the process of gardening and getting into the soil and um, weeding and sewing and all of that stuff alongside a community is where I have recently experienced um, the healing work of Christ. And so I'm excited um, to metaphorically uh, garden alongside all of you um, as we wait with each other through seasons of harvest or through seasons of winter. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see where Christ will continue to grow and where love will sprout. Um, and hopefully along the journey, um, we heal and we celebrate 
Um, I know that I'm ready for a, se a season of celebration after a season of so much waiting and isolation um, and distancing that I am hopeful that the season is drawing to an end and we can soon be together. So until then, um, thank you so much for all of the warm welcomes that I have already received and will continue to receive. Um, and we are excited to join you soon. Thanks so much.